and now to 420. Not just the unofficial national pot holiday, but the name of our special series looking at four states where recreational pot is legal or could become legal in 2020. And our first stop this week is right here in a city where mile high can be taken a lot of different ways. Denver, the mile high city, home to some 3 million people in the greater metro. There are people who enjoy the great outdoors, their beloved Broncos, a vibrant downtown, and in many cases, legal cannabis. Marijuana was around for decades and decades, and it's still around, it's just that it's now being sold in tightly controlled stores. Mason DeVert is a former Arizonan who moved to Colorado and helped write what would become the framework for Amendment 64, which legalized pot and made Colorado ground zero for the green rush in the U.S. More from Mason in a moment. We'll also hear from a state trooper, a concerned mother, and a pediatric toxicologist to learn if Colorado can thrive and get along with legalized pot. We have now seen a, a six years of kids that have now grown up in Colorado with um, adult use marijuana legalization. And some of the, some of the things that we have seen are, are deeply concerning. That's Henny Lastly, a mother and the head of a group called Smart Colorado that advocates for tougher marijuana laws for Colorado's children. Everyone should be able to agree that the science is sound, that it's not good for the, for the development of the adolescent brain. The problem, she says, is that pot in 2019 is not the same stuff that people were smoking back in the day at Woodstock. When you have a marijuana that's smoked that has an average potency of near 20%, when back in the day it was more in the 2 to 3% range, that's a significantly different product. But what she's really against is easy access to kids and the strength of the pot. So we came to Children's Hospital Colorado to meet with Dr. Sam Wang, a pediatric toxicologist. In pediatrics, we think of the age range of when you're pregnant to when you're just born to all the way you're a teenager. And we've seen uh, that marijuana legalization impact that entire breadth of population. But here comes a surprise. By implementing these rules and regulations, the numbers, even though there's continue to grow, they'd be even larger if we didn't pass some of these rules and regulations. And that's been Dr. Wang's big push. If you can't put the genie back in the bottle, at least make sure that everything is clearly labeled and as tightly controlled as possible. As marijuana becomes more available, it becomes more available in the house. So just like any other household product, pharmaceutical, drug, when it's more available, it's more in the home. And when it's in the home, kids get into it. Dr. Wang says he hasn't seen any evidence of an up and coming generation of stoners, but, and this is big, pot really hasn't been legal long enough in Colorado to get a clear picture. Same goes for DUIs with pot. I want to say it's, you know, it's out there, but I don't know if I really saw it as a, a big spike. Um, it was just basically the same as it was always so Gary Cutler is one of the Colorado State Patrol's master troopers. Over the years, he has seen it all. And now what he sees is a society that's transitioning. We've always had marijuana in our state and all these other places. It's just been illegal. Uh, so they tried to hide it a bit more from us. Do, do you think that a state like Colorado can eventually learn to get along with uh, being a place that has legalized cannabis? We're very close to that. Um, you know, it's taken, I'll say probably law enforcement has been the, the tougher one of it. Of it's, it's hard to change your thought after all these years of patrolling for it and looking for it and then realize that now you have something that was illegal, now is legal. But still not legal behind the wheel. And now courts and prosecutors in Colorado find themselves in a gray-green area. If we come across a, a crash and or just a stop and they have um, marijuana and alcohol in it, usually we're going to go for the alcohol on it because people understand that more. And for someone who's made a living enforcing law and order, this brave new world feels like a step back. Well, we spent all these years teaching people about uh, drinking and driving, and now we feel like we're having to start from square one again with marijuana, and that's all it is. We need to make sure that people are understanding it's legal, it is a drug, and it still can be dangerous. In the end, many told us, look, people in Colorado have always smoked pot. The question was, should we regulate, control, and make money from it, 
or continue to fight a losing battle. The Colorado has generated significant revenue from cannabis sales, about $266 million per year, more than a billion dollars since the state started regulating marijuana for adult use. So what are we left with in the state where it all started? First, the potency. The stuff today is much stronger and more concentrated. Second, road safety. The jury's still out on pot DUIs, but our trooper says an alcohol charge is more likely to stick. Third, childhood use. It's happening, but there were no major spikes. And finally, revenue. Yes, the green gold rush is a real thing, but it's not a cure-all. And why, why do you think that there, the people against it just think that this, this green fairy, the, the, it will lead to the moral decay of America? Well, there, there are some folks who do not like marijuana or they do not like the people they associate with, with marijuana, and they will always want it to be as illegal or unavailable as possible. But in the real world where marijuana is going to be available, whether it's legal or not, it's better that we control it, we make sure it's safe, we tax it, and we make sure only the right people are getting their hands on it. And that brings us to our bullhorn question tonight, and now it's your turn to weigh in. We want to know where you stand on recreational marijuana for Arizona. Yes, it's time. No, medical only, or ban it all together. You can continue to vote in our poll right now, which is up and live at 12news.com slash bullhorn, or go to the 12 News app. And guys, we're not done yet. We're visiting Colorado for our special series tonight. But in just a couple of minutes, the next stop in our four-state journey. Caribbean Tram, we'll see you in a few minutes. All right, good to see you. Thanks so much, Mark.